Hey guys, this is a segment from the Slump Buster podcast. You can find the full episode on any of the various podcast platforms, or of course, subscribe to us on YouTube for more of our content. Other than that, guys, sit down, bust the slump, and enjoy. What's up, guys? Fantasy Aristotle back with another video, and we are breaking down some big news in the NFL today. Philip Rivers has officially retired after 17 years in the NFL. An amazing career for him. And the big question is, is he a Hall of Famer or not? I'm going to say he is. Not only is there a San Diego bias there for me, but there's also statistical bias as well. He's littered throughout all of the record books in the NFL. Fifth most in touchdowns and yardage behind Breeze, Brady, Manning, and Farr. He's second most consecutive starts in the NFL's history as a quarterback, only behind Brett Farr. He's also eighth in wins. I mean, this man has just been a stalwart in the NFL. You hear other players talk about him, they hate him because they trash talk so much, but they have so much more respect for him because he doesn't pass as well. He is a fiery competitor. You either hate him or you love him. There's no in between for him. He's definitely a uh, Hall of Fame quarterback. And if you're just like, oh, well, he doesn't have any rings, and that's generally the, the tipping point for should he be in the Hall of Fame or not is if they have rings. But guess what? Dan Marino's in the, in the Hall of Fame. He doesn't have a ring. Dan Fouts, Hall of Fame, doesn't have a ring. So is Phil Rivers. He's a Hall of Fame quarterback. There's, you can't deny this man the Hall of Fame. Will he get on on his first ballot? Probably not, because there will be that Super Bowl ring bias there, but he is going to get in either on the second or third year of eligibility. I hope he gets in on the first year of eligibility, which would be 2026, if you have to wait that five years. Yeah, yeah, the, the 2004 class was so packed with quarterbacks. You have him, Big Ben, who has two rings, Eli, who has two rings, but Eli, doesn't have a winning record and big band that those teams were just stacked with talent. Philip Rivers, the best chance they could have had for a ring was in 2006. Um, Marlon McCree did intercept Tom Brady and had the chance to ice the game, but he fumbled the ball. Tom Brady went on to uh, win that game. And he also played 2007, I believe it was, on a torn ACL. He played the game still. He's just been an Iron Man. He's been a just ridiculous competitor throughout his years. He also holds the NFL record for most consecutive completions uh, in, in the start of a game and also has the highest completion percentage in the game. He, There's just no way you can deny that he is a Hall of Fame quarterback. Now, the discussion should be, is he going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer or will he be a second or third ballot Hall of Famer? I'm hoping he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, but he's going to be a Hall of Famer regardless. Facts don't care about your feelings. Fact is, he is a awesome quarterback. He was an awesome competitor. Stats don't lie here. He was ridiculous. Top 10 in almost every quarterback stat there is out there that's in favor. I don't believe he's top 10 in interceptions. A lot of people are going to hold that against him later on in his career when the Chargers did not have an line and was just throwing up prayers, which yes, that is going to hurt his case, but doesn't matter. He's going to be a Hall of Fame quarterback. Uh, let's discuss this in the chat if you guys want to fight about it because I'm here for it all day. I'm here. So just like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, help us get this brand, this channel growing. We need your guys' support. Keep putting out videos for you guys. That'll be it for this video. Thanks.